Hey there, it's Sue from Moat, and in this video we are going to explore creating audio notes with Moat in Google Slides, and how you can replace that little purple speaker with really any personalized icon that you can create. Let's dive in. If you've never created a Moat with Google Slides before, it's quite easy. I would say get your screenshot ready of this video because this is a good infographic on how you can create a Moat with Google Slides. If you haven't watched the how to create a Moat uh, audio note with Google Slides videos that we have on our YouTube channel. But in this video, we're going to go over how to create a custom Moat icon. So I'll do it really quickly for you. As the infographic says, up top to the left of present, click on the Moat icon. Move this on over, click the M to start. In today's class, we are going to be creating Moat audio notes and replacing the purple speaker icon with a custom icon that we create in Google Slides. Hit the check mark again, hit the insert button, abracadabra, purple speaker icon. So I'm actually gonna delete this one and continue working with this one. Now to replace this image, you're going to right click or two finger click if you're on a Chromebook, head down to replace image, and this is where you would have those options to replace that image. We're gonna come back to that. So I actually like to start off on a Google slide deck that has a custom size that's usually set to square. I don't know, I like to make badges and icons as squares. So to do that, you go to file, page setup. I have this set to custom, five inches by five inches, and then hit apply. Also, I set my background color to transparent. This way, I can download this as a PNG and I won't have a white background. And then I just start inserting either word art or images or anything I really want. And when I'm done creating my custom icon that really gets the point across, I think here, file, download as a PNG. Coming back into my slide where I'd like to replace that purple speaker icon, again, right click, replace image, upload from my computer, and the moat icon that I just created will now take the place of the purple speaker. I can move this around, I can enlarge it if I want to. My students will know to look for the stop sign or whatever custom icon it is that I created in order to hear a special message. Hi everyone, in today's class we are going to... And that's how you replace your moat purple speaker icon with a custom icon that you create in Google Slides. Be on the lookout for bit.ly slash moat icons, all lowercase, all one word, in order to find a Google Slide deck of custom moat icons that you can download and use right away. 